Hi guys, my name is Simon and I'm here today to show you how I've managed to connect my iPhone to an external touchscreen monitor. Now as I'm sure you're all aware, connecting your iPhone to an external monitor is easy. Um, you can plug it into an adapter and there you go, I've outputted the video. Um, but what well, the difficulty is, the difficulty is in managing to control your touchscreen to control your iPhone. So um, basically I'll just give a quick rundown of the rig I've got set up here. Um, I've got the Lilliput FA1042 touchscreen monitor. Um, this is a monitor that's 10.4 uh, inch, 10 inch touchscreen and uh, it's got a uh, composite video input, VGA input. And I've also got the Belkin uh, iPhone video adapter. Uh, both of these I've bought from a, a company called carcomputer.co.uk and they've given me a lot of support uh, I came to them with a problem I had I said look guys I've got um, uh, I'm running a car computer in my car and I'm running centrifuge the problem I have is that all of my content all of my media is dispersed everywhere it's not in sync so what I want to do take my iPhone take it everywhere with me so I can control it so I've got my contacts everything in one place and then if I then it's all in sync one consistent experience so for example, I've got my contacts here, and at the moment I'm running Centrifuge. Centrifuge is very, and it's never updated. I never update my map. I never update my maps. I never update my music. Nothing. So much easier solution I have here, and this is a solution Car Computer suggested, and it's working well for me. It works really well. So this is my preliminary test. In my next video, hopefully, I have it set up on a, in a car. But let me just show you a way around this. Uh, what I've got set up here. Click and hold. It closes the window. Um, let me show you some of the programs, some of my favorite programs I've got here. If I go to the browser, uh, I've got a video configured. Um, let me just click on that video. So I've mean, just got some videos, some football video. I mean, what this is another thing I've got set up here. Uh, as you can see, you can also change the volume. Change the volume on the monitor. The good thing about this is that because the monitor is coming through the iPhone, I'm going to set this up in my car, hook it up to my stereo, so all the sound will come through my car speakers rather than through the iPhone speakers. It's a cool little feature I've got there. And um, so, and um, these, this is all, all, the, all the iPhone is doing all the streaming work. As you can see, it's playing the video, downloading the video. But the monitor is doing putting it up on the big screen, which is exactly what I want to do. Um, I've got multiple windows here, so I can just carry on browsing the web. And go through to Google. I can. You still you continue to use this touch screen as well. You can use Google if I like. Any website. Uh, again, click and hold there to close the window. Oops. And then the next thing I'm going to perhaps going to show you. Uh, I've got the dialer here, so I can use the phone as I would normally. And I can just. So I have full access to my phone. I don't have to connect pair it. With my, I have to bother pairing it through centrifuge, going through all that. It's already set up here. Um, I haven't got any music set up here just yet, but when I have got some music configured, I can show. You. Hopefully, I have my car set up. I have some my iPod up and running. Um, I've got some weather here. I can show you. Again, while I'm driving around, quickly want to get a quick idea of what the weather is. There we go. Uh, most importantly to me, um, emails and navigation. Uh, again, Centrifuge has both these features, but my emails are never synced, uh, it's, it's always out of date, and also important, my maps are never ever up to date. So, um, let me just show you, I've got TomTom Tom app installed here. So again, this is all update, always up to date, all I have to do, take my iPhone around with me, update it wherever I can and as soon as I'm in my car I dock it and I've got up to date maps wherever I go it takes a while to open this program but this is the main feature I really want to achieve I wanted to keep consistent navigation so as you can see I have full access to TomTom Tom here uh, browse map or something so I have full mapping experience there as well so I mean this is everything that's really I've, I want to achieve so far but as you can see I mean 
it's still, it's still in early stages but hopefully when I've got in my car it'll be a lot more polished and hopefully I'll have that video up in a few weeks so I hope you guys tune back in then but as you can see the bare bones are here and hopefully I'll have something ready for you guys in the next few weeks thanks for watching